This is me comboing. And if you want to do this too, then stick to the end of the video and I'll teach you everything you need to know. It pretty much goes without saying that if you want to be good at PvP, you need good settings. So here are mine. For my FOV, I use 85, although sometimes I may use 80 depending on the scenario. For my sensitivity, I use 18, however that may be higher or lower, once again depending on the scenario. I use 800 DPI. The next most important thing, in my opinion, is CPS. Now CPS is incredibly useful on servers like Cubecraft, however if you want to combo on Hive, it's not that useful. What I mean by that is it's incredibly useful to be able to time click. Time clicking is not just clicking twice, it can be clicking 4 times, 8 times, 12 times in one hit. And what this does is it improves your hit registration to the point where you can combo incredibly easily without much effort in terms of clicking a mouse. To actually combo, you're going to want to do this thing called W tapping. It's not actually that hard and this is how I do it. After every hit, I release my W key. This is basically called W tapping. And if you time this with your clicks perfectly, you will be straight in the combo. Make sure you're holding down your control key so you can be sprinting as well. However, I do understand that some people won't be able to W tap very well, but there is an alternative. If you just hold W, you can actually use your strafe keys and your mouse to maintain a distance from your opponent that will allow you to combo. However, this is a lot harder than W tapping in my opinion. Now for the hardest part of comboing, actually starting a combo. You need three things to basically do this well, and they are jump resetting, hit selecting, and distancing. More on those later, but let's start with jump resetting. Jump resetting is possibly the greatest mechanic in Minecraft. It lets you take absolutely no knockback if you hit it at the right time, no matter how many times you're hit, and no matter how fast you're hit. It's brilliant. To jump reset, just click low or consistent CPS and try and time it correctly. This does take a lot of practice, but it's worth it in the end. Here's a few examples in case you're stuck on what to do. Hit selecting, in my opinion, is just an extension of jump resetting. What I mean by that is it makes it a lot easier to do. To hit select, basically let the opponent hit you first and then just a split second after, hit them back. Distancing, in my opinion, is probably the most important out of the three. Reason being, your opponent has basically no way to counteract it. Even if they jump reset, hit select, none of it's going to work. To distance well, firstly, you need to get used to your FOV. Once you've done that, just try and hit them from as far as you can and everything's going to work out. Obviously, this does take practice and there's no easy way to do it. <laughs> 